The benefits of running. Running is not just a physical activity. It has several benefits for our overall well-being. It is an essential way of exercising and it provides many advantages for our health. Regular running increases our cardiovascular health and improves the functioning of our lungs. It permits the blood to flow more effectively in our body, which has a positive effect on our heart. The oxygen consumption in our body also rises during running, which improves our stamina over time. Stamina is necessary for our everyday activities, and sustaining it can be an excellent way to lead a more active lifestyle. Running is an outstanding way of reducing stress levels in our bodies. Stress hormones such as cortisol can have damaging effects on our health and can cause high blood pressure levels. Running is an effective way to decrease cortisol levels in our bodies and thus lowers blood pressure. Many people find solace in running as well. It helps them relax after a long day at work or when things just get too overwhelming. Regular running can also boost our self-confidence and self-esteem. After completing the challenging run, people feel an enormous sense of accomplishment that carries into other areas of their lives. All the health benefits of running lead to additional positive changes in our lives as well. The effects of running translate to a happier and healthier existence. The improvements in our health and stamina levels give us a sense of accomplishment which can create a positive mindset that can carry over to other aspects of our lives. Running can become a healthy habit and when we exercise regularly we tend to consume healthier foods to fuel our bodies. In a way, running acts as a catalyst for positive change in our lives. Even if we cannot fit a run into our day, the mere thought that we run routinely can have a positive psychological effect on us. Another excellent feature that makes running a great option for exercise is that it doesn't require any fancy equipment. Running only needs a pair of good running shoes and comfortable clothing. This makes running a relatively inexpensive way of getting in shape. It can be done anywhere, anytime, and independently. People who do not want to hit the gym or pay for expensive workouts can opt for running and enjoy its numerous advantages. To sum up, the benefits of running go beyond just physical health and lead to an unquestionable improvement in our overall lifestyles. Running provides some exceptional benefits to our bodies and minds, including improved physical and mental health, increased stamina, reduced stress, and enhanced self-confidence. It is an inexpensive and convenient way of exercising that can be done anywhere, at any time. Start running today and enjoy all its plentiful rewards. Question, what benefits can we get from running? Check the video description for the answer. Setting goals and staying motivated. The sun peeked through the curtains, casting a warm glow on the bedroom floor. Sophie rolled over and rubbed her eyes, feeling a renewed sense of energy and excitement. She had decided to set some goals for herself, and today was the day to start working towards them. Sophie had always been a bit of a procrastinator. She had dreams of becoming a writer, but would often find herself sidetracked by other things. She knew that if she wanted to make progress, she needed to set some concrete goals and stay motivated. With a sense of purpose, Sophie grabbed her notebook and pen and began writing down her goals. Her first was to write for at least an hour every day. She knew it wouldn't be easy, but she was determined to make it happen. As the day went on, Sophie found herself struggling to stay motivated. She was easily distracted by social media and other things, and her progress was slow. But, remembering the importance of support, she reached out to a friend who was also working on their goals. They encouraged each other and shared tips on how to stay focused. Sophie also realized the importance of rewarding herself for her hard work. 
she decided that for every week she met her goal of writing for an hour every day, she would treat herself to a slice of her favorite cake. The thought of indulging in that delicious reward helped push her forward. Days turned into weeks, and Sophie found that her writing was improving. She was becoming more disciplined, and her stories were flowing more easily onto the page. She felt proud of her progress and knew that she was on the right track. But, as with anything worth doing, there were setbacks. One day, Sophie got some bad news that left her feeling deflated. She struggled to find the motivation to continue working towards her goals. But, with the support of her friend and the thought of her cake reward, she managed to push through. Months went by, and Sophie found that she had not only met her goal of writing every day, but had also secured a publishing deal for her first novel. She felt the sense of accomplishment and gratitude for all the support she had received along the way. In the end, Sophie learned that setting goals and staying motivated is not always easy, but it is worth it. With the help of support, rewards, and a strong sense of purpose, she was able to make progress and achieve her dreams. Question, how can we set and achieve our running goals? Check the video description for the answer. Proper form and technique. Sophie stood in front of the weightlifting machine, feeling a bit intimidated. She had heard horror stories of people injuring themselves by using improper form and technique when lifting weights, and she didn't want to be one of them. She took a deep breath and reminded herself of the importance of form and technique. She had decided to make weightlifting a part of her fitness routine to improve her strength and overall performance. But she knew that doing so without proper form and technique would not only be inefficient but could also lead to injury. Sophie had done her research and read on the best practices for weightlifting. She had learned that it was important to start with lighter weights and focus on perfecting her form and technique before adding more weight. She also learned that it was essential to engage her core and keep her back straight to prevent injury. As she began her first lift, she focused on maintaining her form and technique, even though the weights felt light and easy to lift. She reminded herself that efficiency and performance came from proper form and technique, not from lifting heavy weights carelessly. As she progressed through her workout, Sophie received some encouraging words from a more experienced weightlifter who had noticed her focus on form and technique. He commended her for taking the time to do it right, even though it meant starting with lighter weights and lifting slower than others around her. As her time in the gym came to an end, Sophie felt proud of her progress and dedication to proper form and technique. She knew that adhering to these principles would not only improve her performance, but also prevent injury and promote overall health and wellness. As she left the gym that day, Sophie felt a sense of accomplishment and motivation to continue working towards her fitness goals with the same focus on proper form and technique. She knew that by doing so, she would not only become stronger, but also continue to improve her health and well-being. Question, why is proper form and technique important in running? Check the video description for the answer. The different types of running. Running had always been a way for Lisa to distress after a long day, but she soon realized that there were different types of running that she could explore to add more variety to her workouts. One day, she decided to try long-distance running to challenge herself and see how far she could go. She started off slow, gradually building up her pace, and soon found that she could run for miles without feeling exhausted. Lisa loved the feeling of accomplishment that came with completing a long-distance run, and she knew that she would continue to challenge herself in this way. Another day, she decided to try sprinting. She hit the track and sprinted as fast as she could, feeling the wind rush past her face. Sprinting was a completely different experience from long-distance running, which required steady endurance. Sprinting required raw power and explosive energy. 
Lisa realized that sprinting could be used as a form of interval training, where she could alternate between sprints and jogging to get a full body workout. Then, Lisa decided to try trail running. She had heard that it was more challenging than running on a flat, paved surface and was a great way to build strength and endurance. She put on her running shoes and headed to the nearest trail. The uneven terrain made the run challenging, but it also made it more engaging. Lisa had to keep her eyes on the ground to avoid tripping, which made her more mindful of her surroundings. She also had to use more muscles in her legs to maintain her balance on the bumpy earth, which was a great way to build up her overall strength. Lastly, Lisa decided to incorporate interval training into her running routine. She created a workout where she would run as fast as she could for 30 seconds, then jog for a minute to catch her breath, and then repeat the cycle. Her heart rate spiked during the sprints and then slowed down during the rest period, giving her a great cardio workout. The sprints also helped build up her leg muscles, since she was pushing her body to go faster for a short period of time and then allowing it to recover. As Lisa continued to explore different types of running, she found that each one offered its own unique benefits and challenges. Long distance running helped her build up her endurance. Sprinting helped her develop explosive energy. Trail running helped her build up overall strength. And interval training helped her get a full body workout. She was excited to keep exploring different types of running and seeing how they could help her achieve her fitness goals. Question, what are the different types of running? Check the video description for the answer. Running gear and equipment? Lisa was all geared up for her early morning run. She knew that having the right shoes, clothing, and hydration was key to a successful workout. She laced up her sturdy running shoes, which were designed for long-distance runs and were made of breathable materials to keep her feet cool and dry. Next, Lisa put on her moisture-wicking clothing, which was designed to pull sweat away from her skin. The fabric was lightweight, stretchy, and comfortable to wear. Lisa knew that wearing the right clothing would prevent chafing and discomfort during her run and help her maintain an optimal body temperature. As she headed out the door, Lisa grabbed her water bottle to ensure she stayed hydrated during her run. She knew that staying hydrated was critical to prevent muscle cramps and other health issues. Lisa also carried a hydration backpack that had a water bladder to ensure she could drink hands-free on the go. She knew that this was a convenient way to stay hydrated, especially during hot summer days. Lisa had also recently started using a tracking device to monitor her progress and keep track of her distance, speed, and calories burned. The device was small and lightweight, easily attachable to her clothing or running shoes. Lisa loved how the device helped her stay motivated during her workouts. It gave her instant feedback on her performance, and she could see how far she had come since she started running. Lisa also ensured she had a watch with her, as it was essential for timing her run and tracking her pace. Her watch was waterproof, which meant she could use it in all types of weather and tracked different metrics such as heart rate and burnt calories. It was the perfect device to help her keep track of time, stay on schedule, and ensure she met her fitness goals. As Lisa ran, she felt the rhythm of her footsteps, the sound of her breathing, and the wind in her face. She knew that her running gear and equipment were instrumental in helping her enjoy her workout and ensuring she stayed safe and healthy. She loved how her shoes cushioned her feet, her clothing kept her dry and cool, her water bottle kept her hydrated, her tracking device motivated her, and her watch kept her on schedule. With every step, Lisa felt more and more confident that she could achieve her fitness goals, run further and faster than ever before. She knew that with the right gear and equipment, she could push herself to new heights, improve her overall health and well-being, 
and inspire others to do the same. As she finished her run, Lisa felt a sense of accomplishment and pride in what she had achieved. She knew that every time she put on her running gear and equipment, she was setting herself up for success and taking a step closer to her ultimate fitness goals. Question, what gear and equipment do we need for running? Check the video description for the answer. Cross-training for runners. Katie had been a dedicated runner for years, running five days a week, no matter the weather or how busy her schedule was. However, she noticed that despite her routine, she was feeling more and more fatigued and was even experiencing occasional knee pain. One day, she decided to talk to her friend and personal trainer, who suggested that she incorporate cross-training into her routine. It will help prevent injuries, improve your strength and flexibility, and give your body a break from the repetitive motion of running, her friend explained. Excited to try something new, Katie took her friend's advice and signed up for strength training classes and yoga sessions at her gym. Initially, she was hesitant as she didn't know what to expect, but after a few classes, she was hooked. She loved how both strength training and yoga challenged her body in different ways and allowed her to improve her overall fitness. In addition to those classes, Katie also began cycling as another form of cross-training. She enjoyed exploring new areas on her bike, and cycling gave her an opportunity to give her running muscles a break while still getting in a great workout. Over time, as Katie incorporated more cross-training into her routine, she noticed a significant improvement in her running ability. She felt stronger, more flexible, and less prone to injury. She also found that the mental break from running and the variety of activities helped keep her workouts fresh and exciting. Although running remained her first love, she looked forward to her cross-training sessions each week. One of the primary benefits of cross-training was that Katie's body was better able to handle the demands of running. Her legs and core were stronger, and her flexibility had improved, making it easier to maintain proper form and prevent injury. Furthermore, Katie was no longer feeling as fatigued as she had been before. Cross-training had given her body time to rest and recover, allowing her to come back stronger for her next run. Katie had also discovered a new community through cross-training. She had met people in her classes who shared her love for fitness and encouraged her to try new things. She found that the support of her newfound friends helped her stay motivated and committed to her workouts. Overall, Katie realized that cross-training was a game-changer for her running routine. She was able to improve her overall fitness, prevent injuries, and keep her workouts fresh and exciting, all while staying committed to her love for running. Question what other forms of exercise can benefit runners? Check the video description for the answer. Running nutrition. Running nutrition proper nutrition is essential for any runner. Carbohydrates, protein, and hydration are all necessary for providing energy and nutrients to fuel a workout. Sarah knew this too well after experiencing fatigue and muscle cramps during her runs. Sarah had always been into running, but she couldn't seem to push herself to go any further, even though she trained hard. After chatting with a nutritionist, she soon realized that a few changes to her diet could make all the difference. Sarah found herself at the grocery store, determined to make smarter food choices. She quickly purchased items like whole grain bread, oatmeal, fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins, such as chicken and tofu. For breakfast, she made sure to include plenty of carbohydrates, such as oatmeal and whole grain toast, which gave her energy for her morning runs. She also incorporated protein, such as eggs, to help her muscles recover and rebuild. Throughout the day, Sarah constantly reminded herself to stay hydrated with water and low-sugar sports drinks. She found that drinking enough water helped her avoid dehydration, 
which can cause cramping and fatigue. When it came to mealtime, Sarah made sure to include a variety of colorful vegetables to get the nutrients her body needed, and lean protein to support her muscles. She also made sure to have small, nutritious snacks every few hours to help sustain her energy levels throughout the day. As she started to follow these simple changes, Sarah noticed her energy levels during runs were much higher. She found herself able to run farther, without experiencing muscle fatigue or cramps. Sarah's nutritionist had explained the science behind the effect of different foods on the body. Carbohydrates are essential for runners as they provide quick energy. Proteins help repair muscle tissue after a workout, while also helping the muscles grow stronger. Hydration is equally important, as it helps to maintain blood pressure and enables the body to function effectively. Consuming enough water can help the stomach digest food and absorb nutrients, as well as cooling the body during a workout. By making small changes in her diet, Sarah learned that she could maximize her performance during runs and achieve her goals. She felt more confident and motivated to keep running, knowing that she was nourishing her body with all the right nutrients. As a result, Sarah began to make even more research on running nutrition and decided to share her experiences with her running mates who quickly joined the bandwagon. The group became more intentional about their diet, with a focus on increasing their carbohydrate intake, hydrating adequately, and incorporating protein-rich foods like nuts and seeds. They were all eager to see the improvements in their running and enjoyed the benefits of a well-balanced diet. In conclusion, Sarah's experience showed just how important proper nutrition can be for runners. By making a few simple changes in her diet, she was able to maximize her runs and achieve her fitness goals. Running nutrition is key. Question: How can we fuel our bodies for optimal running performance? Check the video description for the answer. Running injuries and prevention. Sarah had been running regularly for months. She was determined to stay fit and healthy, but it wasn't long before she started experiencing running injuries. At first, it was just a nagging pain in her shins. She assumed it was normal for a runner to have some discomfort. But as the pain grew worse, she realized it was something more serious, shin splints. She went to see her doctor, who recommended rest, ice, and compression. Sarah was disappointed that she couldn't run for a few weeks, but she knew it was necessary for her recovery. As she got better, she started running again, eager to regain her fitness levels. But then... She began experiencing another kind of pain in her feet, plantar fasciitis. Walking became difficult, let alone running. Sarah was frustrated. How could she have two injuries in such a short period of time? She researched online and discovered that running injuries are common, especially if you're new to the sport or if you don't take enough precautions. She realized that not warming up properly or stretching before a run, as well as sudden increases in distance or intensity, were some of the reasons why runners get injured. Feeling guilty for not taking the necessary precautions before, Sarah decided to take prevention seriously. She started by warming up her muscles before each run, doing dynamic stretches to prepare her legs and back. She also made sure to stretch properly after each run, holding each stretch for at least 30 seconds. Sarah also learned that a gradual increase in distance or intensity was vital for both injury prevention and performance. She started small, increasing her distance slowly and taking plenty of time to adjust to each new challenge. Additionally, she invested in proper running shoes that provided the necessary support for her feet and legs and wore compression sleeves to avoid injuries like shin splints. Sarah soon found herself running without any pain or discomfort. Her knees, which had also bothered her, were feeling better than ever. Feeling proud of herself, 
She recommended these injury prevention techniques to her friends who were new to running or those who had also experienced running injuries. Sarah knew that running was an excellent exercise for both physical and mental health, and she was determined to keep doing it for as long as she could. And the best way to do that was to stay injury-free. In conclusion, running injuries are indeed a common obstacle for runners, whether you re a seasoned athlete or a beginner runner. However, taking the necessary precautions can help you avoid them and keep on running without worries. Stretching and warming up, wearing proper running gear, gradually increasing your distance, and seeking medical advice when necessary are some of the ways you can stay injury-free and enjoy the many benefits that running has to offer. Question, what are common running injuries and how can we prevent them? Check the video description for the answer. Running communities and races. John had been running for years, mainly by himself. However, he always felt like something was missing in his running experience. He had heard about running groups and decided to explore his options. After browsing online, he found several running communities in his area. He decided on one that had a good reputation and was organized by a local running store. He registered online and was excited to join the group on their next run. When he arrived at the meeting spot, he couldn't believe the number of people there. He had never seen so many runners in one place. As he looked around, he saw runners of all ages, sizes, and backgrounds. The group leader gave them a brief warm-up and then announced their route for the day. John was happy to have someone else plan his run for once. He felt that being in a group gave him more accountability and motivation. Throughout the run, he chatted with other runners, swapping tips and stories. He was surprised by how friendly everyone was, despite being strangers. By the end of the run, he felt a sense of community and belonging he had never experienced before. The running group also organized races throughout the year. John decided to sign up for their next 10K race, which was coming up in a few weeks. He registered online through the race website and started training for the event. As the race drew nearer, John felt nervous but excited. He knew he had trained well, but had never run in a race before. On the morning of the race, he arrived early to help with volunteering for race day. He was tasked with distributing runners' bibs and helping them with online registration issues. He enjoyed talking to the runners and cheering them on as they prepared for the race. Seeing their excitement and nerves reminded him of his own journey. When it was time for the race to begin, John joined his fellow runners at the starting line. As the starting gun went off, he felt a rush of adrenaline. He ran alongside the other runners, hearing their footsteps and the sound of their breathing. The cheering crowd gave him an extra boost. Halfway through the race, he felt like giving up. But when he saw a fellow runner who was struggling, he decided to stick with them and encourage them. Together, they pushed through the rest of the race, crossing the finish line together. John couldn't believe how much he had enjoyed the experience. Running had brought him a sense of community and camaraderie he had never experienced before. He felt grateful for the running group and the race organizers who had helped him along the way. His next goal was to volunteer at future races, bringing his newfound sense of community to others. Question, how can we get involved in the running community and find races to participate in? Check the video description for the answer. Mental toughness and running. Running had never been easy for Rachel. She found it uncomfortable to push herself and deal with the discomfort that came with it. But as she started running more often, she realized that the key was developing mental toughness. Mental toughness is the ability to handle discomfort, challenges, and setbacks while still performing at a high level. For Rachel, this meant not quitting when her legs burned or when her lungs felt like they were on fire. It meant pushing herself a little bit further than her comfort zone. At first, 
It was difficult for Rachel to develop this mental toughness. She found herself getting discouraged when she couldn't run as fast or as long as she wanted to. But as she kept at it, she realized that building mental toughness takes time and practice. One of the ways Rachel learned to develop mental toughness was by setting small goals for each run. Instead of focusing on running a certain distance or time, she focused on pushing herself to run just a little bit further or to maintain her pace for a few more minutes. By conquering small challenges during each run, she was able to build up her confidence and her mental toughness. Rachel also found motivation in the benefits that running provided. Running helped her become more focused and productive throughout the day. She also enjoyed the natural endorphin high that came with it, feeling energized and refreshed after each run. One setback Rachel faced was when she injured her ankle during a run. At first, she was devastated, thinking that all her progress would be lost. But through the setback, she learned valuable lessons about mental toughness and overcoming adversity. Rachel refused to give up and instead focused on her recovery, staying disciplined with her rehabilitation exercises, and ensuring that she could get back to running sooner than later. Her mental toughness allowed her to stay focused and determined, and when she finally was able to take her first post-injury run, it felt like an incredibly rewarding experience. Through the challenges and setbacks she faced, Rachel's mental toughness only grew stronger. She found that the more she pushed herself, the stronger she became, and her ability to handle discomfort and challenges enhanced her performance. Running had taught Rachel that mental toughness can be developed through practice and perseverance. By breaking down her goals into manageable steps, focusing on the benefits of running, and overcoming setbacks, she had achieved a level of mental toughness that had not only enhanced her running performance but transcended into her daily life, too. Question. How does mental toughness affect running performance? Check the video description for the answer. Running for life. Rachel had been running for years now and it had become a lifelong activity for her. It wasn't just about fitness, but also about health and wellness. Running allowed her to clear her mind, distress, and feel revitalized. With every run, Rachel felt a sense of accomplishment, knowing that she was pushing her body a little bit more each time. She had set goals for herself, small ones at first, but as time went by, she had increased the distance and time of her runs. One of the things that Rachel enjoyed about running was the community and camaraderie that came with it. She had joined a running club, and training with other runners had made a significant difference in her performance. On Saturdays, Rachel met up with her running buddies, and they would take on new routes, challenging themselves in new ways. Running with a group gave her the support, and motivation she needed to keep up her endurance. It also allowed her to form friendships with like-minded individuals who shared the same passion for running. But it wasn't always easy. There were times when Rachel struggled with her training and felt like giving up. But her running community had her back, cheering her on and pushing her to keep going. They reminded her of the progress she had made and how much stronger she had become since starting her running journey. Rachel's health and wellness had improved significantly since she began running. She felt more energized throughout the day, slept better at night, and had better mental clarity. Running had become so much more than just exercise. It was a way of life for her. Rachel also appreciated the sense of accomplishment that came with each completed run. Crossing the finish line of a marathon or even a 5K gave her an incredible sense of satisfaction and pride. It wasn't about winning. It was about showing up, pushing herself, and finishing what she started. Rachel's passion for running had even inspired some of her friends and family to take up the sport as well. She was proud to be a part of a community that encouraged and supported each other in their fitness journeys. 
When Rachel reached her 50th birthday, she realized that running had become a part of her identity. It had given her a renewed sense of vitality and purpose. She celebrated her milestone by running a half marathon with her running buddies, a challenging feat she never thought she would achieve. Looking back on her running journey, Rachel felt grateful for the opportunities and experiences that running had brought into her life. It had given her a sense of accomplishment, belonging, and most importantly, health and wellness. Rachel was proud to be a part of the running community and looked forward to continuing her lifelong activity for years to come. Question, can running be a lifelong activity?